Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry, and in today's video we'll be talking about how to calculate mole fraction. Mole fraction can be calculated using this equation, this little cursive V looking, looking X stands for mole fraction. So the mole fraction of a particular compound is going to equal the moles of the compound divided by the total moles. So you can just think of it as the part divided by the whole. Now let's take a look at two examples. A vessel contains 0.4 moles of H2, 2.0 moles of N2, and 1.7 moles of F2. What is the mole fraction of F2? So we're trying to solve for the mole fraction of F2. So all we have to do is just take the moles of F2, 1.7 moles, divided by the, the, the total moles. So the total moles will just be all these three added together, 0.4 plus 2 plus 1.7, and that'll give us 4.1 moles. So we plug that into calculator, 1.7 divided by 4.1, and then that should give you 0.41 as the mole fraction. Mole fraction doesn't have any units. So that was a pretty straightforward one because then moles is already given to us. This can be a little bit more complicated if you're given under units such as grams, molecules, liters, but all you have to do is convert it to moles. So let's take a look at how one of those questions could look like. This one's pretty much exactly the same as that except we're given grams instead of moles. Uh, now we're asked to solve for the mole fraction N2. So the very first step is just to convert the grams into moles so we can use that equation. To convert grams into mole, we just divide by the molar mass. So this is just divided by about 2.02. This will be divided by approximately 28. And this will be divided by approximately 38, because those are the molar masses of the compound. 33 divided by 2.02. .02, and that gives you 16.3, approximately. And this is 53 divided by 28 which gives you approximately 1.89 moles. And then 28 divided by 38 gives you approximately 0 0.737 moles. So then once we have the moles of everything to solve for the mole fraction of N2, we just take the moles of N2, which is 1.89, and then divide it by the total moles. So just add these three numbers together And then that'll be approximately, uh, approximately like 19.0 moles. And then we just plug down to the calculator. And you'll get a mole fraction of 0 0.010. And that's how you solve for mole fraction. You just have to plug it, plug the numbers into this equation. Mole fraction of a part of compound equals the moles of the compound divided by the total moles. Just make sure you convert everything into moles before you plug it into the equation. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.